Since 2008, the Secretariat of the Convention on Biological Diversity has spearheaded an international effort to map and describe the most ecologically or biologically significant areas of the ocean. So far, this effort has described more than 270 of these areas, known as EBSAs, around the world. This work has highlighted special places in the ocean that are crucial to the healthy functioning of the global marine ecosystem. This is no small achievement. Understanding how to conserve the diversity of life in the ocean requires an enormous amount of information and collaboration. Understanding the distribution of species, their life cycles, habits and movements, and the natural variations of these patterns across seasons, years and decades is vital in developing effective strategies for the conservation and sustainable use of marine biodiversity. The amount of data underpinning this knowledge is vast. Much of it is stored in regional and global databases, such as the Ocean Biogeographic Information System, or OBIS, which provides open access to information about biodiversity across the world's oceans. Some datasets are provided by government institutions, others come from international scientific initiatives or from individual researchers. Bringing all this knowledge together to map and describe EBSAs is a critical step in efforts to safeguard marine ecosystems and the services they provide. The EBSA process is drawn on expertise from all over the world, calling on specialist skills and knowledge from governments, scientists, intergovernmental bodies, conservation groups and local communities. These experts have worked together to compile, integrate, visualise and analyse data from diverse sources across a range of scientific disciplines and at a variety of scales. From this vast array of information, the most ecologically or biologically significant areas have been described, based on the best available scientific information. The ocean is an extraordinarily dynamic and diverse environment, and this is reflected in the range of EBSAs described to date. EBSAs are located in all regions of the planet, from the Arctic to the tropics, and at all water depths from shallow coastal areas to the deep sea. They encompass a multitude of ecosystems, from individual seamounts or coral reefs to complex assemblages of interconnected habitats. EBSAs can also include features that shift over time or space, such as oceanographic fronts or sea ice zones, and areas of the ocean that are important at particular times of the year, like feeding hotspots and breeding grounds. Effective conservation and sustainable use of marine biodiversity requires a flexible approach based on the best available scientific information and expertise. The EBSA process represents a huge collective effort among countries, sectors and scientific disciplines. By bringing together all the necessary evidence, EBSAs can support and enable the responsible management of resources and human activities in the ocean. Ultimately, this can help sustain livelihoods maintain food security and protect the well-being of communities all over the world for generations to come.